So today I'm putting up these, uh, it's going to be hard to pronounce, it's from IKEA, it's the uh, uh, curtain rod brackets uh, called Betty Delig, and uh, they're pretty cool actually. So this is one of the ones I went ahead and put together ahead of time to show you where I, my goal is to get. Um, towards the end because I need to hang up two curtain rods so this is the outer one and inner one so obviously this is what you start off with from Ikea so when you just pick up this package this is enough to put up one curtain rod so you pick up an extra piece which we already did And this allows you to add the second curtain rod. They have these um, extra ones in bins that you can grab. So it's pretty simple. What it comes with are these two um, rubber pieces that can you can peel the backs off of by 3M. And they're, they come in different thicknesses. They actually go um, inside the ring depending on how thick your rod is and that keeps them from sliding. Um, what this is is uh, actually a little plastic cover for the uh, um, the ends either this side or this depending on which you decide to put against the wall. I'm actually going to put this side against the wall because I want more length to allow for my uh, second uh, rod to hang from and they make this thicker as you can see here there's this little groove um, you can cut that so that it covers this at the right length um, I'm not that concerned about that part right now because I'm just trying to get these rods up so um, I'll probably just temporarily cover them with this at this length and then cut them at some later date. So first I'm going to take this thumb screw off. And this seats nicely in the track. And then you can just screw in from the top. It doesn't lock into place on the track or anything, it just fits in there. So it's not fully tightened yet, but you can see this is generally speaking where it's going to go. So there you have it. That's basically what comes uh, to you in the first kit. I haven't put in the rubber yet. And just a reminder, we're going to be getting here. So here's the first part we're going to get here. So now I've taken out the uh, extra rod. So I'm going to orient it facing back just because. I know it doesn't have to, but it works for me. And, you know, I'll just make it tight enough to show that I've got my second one set up. I'm going to have to loosen it later anyway because I'm going to need these things to be able to get out of my way. Here we go. And the only difference now between this one and this one is that I've put the rubber in already on these. So what I found is I'm, I went ahead and made the U-shape and stuck it in and boom. There you go. Okay. There's my first one. My second one, everything's kind of loose right now. That's okay because I'm going to need room when I start screwing these things in the walls. And there you go. I've got my three. Now I'm going to go ahead and put them on the walls. So I just 
screwed these in. Wasn't too difficult. In my case, I'm replacing a couple brackets that were there before, so the holes were already there. And you can see the uh, double one hanging there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put up the other other two. I may as well demonstrate this while I have it. I haven't cut this down to size yet, but this is how the cover goes over, if you care. Well, I've gone ahead and put all three up. Actually won't be able to uh, put the cover one on the middle one because of where the molding is, but that's okay. It's mostly covered by drapes anyway. So that's it. So today I'm putting up these, uh, it's going to be hard to pronounce, it's from Ikea. It's the uh, uh, curtain rod brackets uh, called Betty Delig, and uh, they're pretty cool actually. So this is one of the ones I went ahead and put together ahead of time to show you where I, my goal is to get um, towards the end because I need to hang up.